Hello and a very good afternoon to you from wherever you are around the world here to watch the India Open, the Yonex Sunrise India Open 2022. This has the order of play that we've had on court one and coming up very shortly indeed, the men's singles. Uh, one I'm sure many people around the world are looking forward to. Sergei Surat of Russia is taking on the newly crowned world champion from Singapore, the fifth seed here, Lo Kian Yu. Lots of other action coming up. There is the ladder for you. And look at you, Sergei Sirant, the winner of that match, will take on the winner of Kim Brun and Brian Young. That will also be here on court one a little later on. Right now, we have Pranoy and Sen doing battle. It's one, one game apiece and eight all in that one. So very, very tight indeed. Hun Se Yong and Nat Yuen will also be in action. So that is the men's singles lineup for you here, the Yonex Sunrise India Open in Delhi. We wait the players to make their way onto the court very shortly indeed. Has been a good day of action. Very straightforward those matches so far here on court one. Will that change in the uh, remaining four matches today? But uh, a lot of people have been very keen to see Lo Kian Yu, the world champion, in action. You will recall, of course, that he took the badminton world by storm in December. A rank outsider. His very first match in the opening round of the World Championships against the Olympic champion and world number one, Victor Axelson. And someone that he's been training with as well in uh, Dubai. Went on to beat him. There is Sergei Sirant. I'm sure he must be thrilled to be able to play the world champion in these quarterfinals and an opportunity to take a big scalp. Lo Kian Yu himself has been saying he knows that he now has a target on his back. Everyone wants a piece of this. And he said, we start from zero now. I have to put all of that behind me, the achievements of the last few weeks. What a few months he's had as well, ever since that training stint in Dubai with Victor Axelson. Something, that, by the way, that he had been Looking to do since 2020, he got put off because of the COVID pandemic. Ever since that stint, he has not looked back. This man has had some of the biggest rises in rankings in world badminton in the last few months. Starting in 40th position, he's now 15th in the world. Had a, a little bit of a shaky start. We'll see that in a very short while in this tournament but uh, has turned things around quite significantly since then. But it's uh, really pleasing to see how the catalytic effect of that win in Huelva, Spain has had badminton in Singapore with uh, already, it's not even a month ago, by the way, that win, and it's already seen a exponential increase in interest in the sport. Badminton academies are reporting higher subscriptions, more equipment being sold. People are just going out Black. to play more badminton. Red. Their last meeting at the Black. Mongolia Anti International Series of 2018, Loki Anu won that in three. You saw That's okay. the only time these two have met. So here's Lo Kian Yu, the stats for him. 24 years of age, born in Penang, Malaysia, which of course is a bit of a talking point. He's at his highest ranking now. Moved to Singapore when he was a young man in uh, 2010. 
Took up a scholarship at the Singapore Sports School, along with his brother, who, by the way, is also in action here. So this is how things have gone for Lo Kian Yu. Shaky start, Sheng Xiaodong lost his first game. Maybe just the hangover of winning. But he went on to uh, storm the rest of that match. And then a very straightforward win in his second match against uh, Sung from Malaysia. Sagi Sirant has got a, a huge height advantage at 185. 27 year old had his highest ranking of 62. That was in July of 2018, around the time that he played Loki Anu. In fact, uh, his current ranking is 76. He is the Russian number one. First international title in 2015, the Riga International, and uh, clinched, a, clinched a Grand Prix title in the 2017 Russian Open. He's had a, a very straightforward time so far. Chem Jun Wei, who's actually a former teammate of Lokian Yu's back in the day when they were kids in Malaysia, and then Kalia Kolyanen of Finland, 21 18, 21 15 in round two, has played in India once previously, the Side Modi International in 2018. Upadhyay Vrushali of India is the umpire. Ably supported by the service judge, Ravi Kumar Dixit. Well, Loka New has so inspired his, uh, his fans that they've actually crowdfunded money to reward him. Of course, World Championships, not a, not a tournament that has any prize money, like the Olympics. And he's now got And he's now managed, they managed to crowdfund half a million dollars. And that just shows how much he's held in such high esteem just to thank him for what he's done. He's got a really good opportunity here to keep up his winning ways at the India Open with a number of seeds already out for one reason or another. But he first has to take on Sergei Sirat, as I mentioned, this would be a major, major scout for him. And one that he'll certainly look out for. He played in the World Championships as well. We lost in the first round to Kanta Sunayama, the ninth ready? seed there. So he's got his work cut Ladies out for him. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right. And this is first Sergei ever Siran, Super 500 quarter final. And, and he said he was very, very happy left, to get you. through to this stage. He said he's very comfortable playing in India. Sergei so he doesn't have very much st strong sparring at home, but the motivation is high. Flat. So here we go. Sirat versus Lo. It's a lovely drop, isn't it? On the backhand One left. from Sirat, who you can just see towers over his opponent. Nice confident start from the Russian. That's a, an so emphatic response, isn't it, from Lok and you? One, all. There's his coach as well, who's been getting a lot of plaudits, and Two, when one. Lo was asked to come back on business class from the World Championships, he insisted his coach and the physical trainer also fly back with him on the same class, just uh, showing. The measure of the man. Three, one. Well, those smashes are finding their target very well. Look at you. It's a confident start after losing that first point. Yeah, and he's finding his marks, the corners, Five, placement is superb. You can already tell the class of this player. 
Alors qu'il y a mieux. Succession of points. Six in a row for Lowe. Barely broken a sweat. He's looking comfortable. Struggling now. Seven. Sergei Stewart. Right at the net there. That was well out, that shot for the left hander. That's better. Line jet signal. Service over. He needs a lot more of that, doesn't he, Sirant? Couple of points here for Sirant. It'll be giving him a bit more confidence here. That's just out. Service over. Eight. Three. Back with Lokenu. Five point lead here for the Singaporean. Yeah, completely misjudged Nine. that, missed hit it. Three. He's doing a great job of moving his Ten. big opponent around, isn't Three. he? And then just soft hands there with the drop. No chance for Saga Sirant. Look at this. Just lovely disguise. Drew him in one side of the court and then went cross court on the smash. It's a good confident start here for Loki and who goes in the interval. 11-3 up. back onto the court he was ready well before 11, the interval was three, up it's a statement of intent flat. at the moment three run has to dig deep here oh. you'd imagine that three runs with so that uh, statuesque her. build of his will be Four, looking to 11. try to exploit from the smash he needs to get to those kind of positions though Doesn't really have too many of those opportunities yet. A bit of luck on the net, as which uh, Sirant acknowledges. Uh, he'll need all that luck he can get. Yeah. These long rallies will actually no? suit Lo Kian Yu. Yeah. Just yeah. moving that opponent around, trying to keep him mobile as possible. Yeah. Thank Making you. It difficult. His court coverage, absolutely fantastic, and there was so much. Speculation here. Kidami Srikanth was the number one seed. Play. 
in this tournament. Unfortunately, he had to retire out of concern for COVID. Not being made out of those two re-matching here. That so would have been the 12, dream five. final, really, wouldn't it? Having seen the two of them in action at the World Championships. Just under a month ago. Yeah, those kind of shots frustrating Five. for Sirat. There he goes, annoyed with himself. Man has reached three, eight finals and won three of them. Good kill shot at the net. Hasn't so had too many of those sort of opportunities. Six, 13. Man who says he aspires to get to the top 20, Sergei Sirant. So and he's over. In 2017, 14, Sirant. Six. He won it in his hometown of Vladivostok. So that was a, a big, big moment for him. This one could be as well if he can beat. Look at you. And that's an opportunity not taken so by Lowe. He had Seven. the Russian at his mercy there. Fourteen. <laughs> he knows it, doesn't he? Just a shake of the head. A wry smile from the Singaporean who says he's quite a joker uh, in training and says he had to kind of adapt to that when he moved to Dubai to train with Victor Axelson, he said he's a, a very serious trainer, Axelson. So he said I had to just change my attitude a little bit in front of him. But there's absolutely no doubt. All the players who have joined Axelson in Dubai have seen an upturn in fortunes. Brian Young is another one we'll be talking about a little bit later on today. But there's no doubt it's had a massive impact on Lo Kian Yu. over. Went under the net. 15, Just eight. didn't get the required height on it. <laughs> Just easy, isn't it? 16, All very straightforward for low at the moment. An eight point lead here for the Singaporean. Not so had over. those kind of opportunities, not enough Nine. of those. So I guess right. that is his weapon. That is what he wants to be in the position to play the jump smash down the line. Brilliant from him. See that Lo was 16. thinking about a couple of different shots there. Kind of held on. Siran will be pleased that he's stuck around with this. He's only six points behind now, as before it was nine. It's a good little spell. 11, 16. Make that five now. Again, the net plays a part. He's hung in there. Sirant, just give him a glimmer of hope here in this first game. Replacing there by Lowe. Oh, great reactions, really good reactions from the Russian. 12, who's now 16. started to make a game out of this. It's only four behind. It's been a very good spell this one four points on the trot 13 16 
Well, this is now getting, I'm sure, a little nervy for look at. He's not showing it. He is someone that does start to get a little tentative. Goes on a long run of points, can you? Well, this is 14, very, very good 15. badminton now from Sergei Surat, who's right on the tail of Lo Kian Yu. He looked out for the count, Surat, and he's battled his way back into real contention here. Well, he needed that, didn't he? To stop Jump that run of points, uh, Ken Yu. 17, 14, landed, wiped the fourteen. Well, that was an impressive six-point run for Sergei Svirat to put him back in the contention for this first game. Just seemed to have lost his concentration momentarily, Lo Ken Yu. And uh, to Sirat's credit, he exploited that. Play. Just three points in it, though. So we saw her. Yeah, that's well out, 17. isn't it? is now a crucial point. There's just one between them. Brilliant play. Kelvin Ho now really being a lot more vocal. He's not giving too much away here, Surat, but he'd be absolutely delighted with this. Remarkable turnaround for the Russian. And that's better. So better from Lokian Yu. 16. Only a second point in the last ten. That's gone the way of the Russian. So nineteen sixteen edging towards that twenty one. Look at you. She run, not making it easy for him. So, and he's now got uh, game four point. game points. Look at you. Too many smiles at the moment from the Singaporean, but he'll be happy. He's back in this position. So, and he's placed game. it well to finish the first game. 21-16, well, okay, and you had a bit of a hiccup along the way, didn't he? He was extremely comfortable, eight points clear of his opponent, then lost his way a little bit. Look at you, beat Sergei Sirant in the first game. 21-16, that's taken him 15 minutes. Thank you. 
So look, and you has a one game lead here against Sergei Sirat, quarterfinals of the Yonex Sunrise India Open. All to a Super 500. Second game. Here in uh, New Left Delhi, ball. India. Place in the semi-finals up for grabs. So as with the so first game, One the left. opening point goes to Sergei Sirat. After that, look and you went on a run. A very, very good run. Six or seven points to really open up a gap. Over. One, all. He was looking extremely comfortable, wasn't he, in that first game, and then all of a sudden, three run. Started a very, very good run of points. Very good Three, from one. Look and You. Right down the middle. So he's not really had a break. That's why he's so good around the court. No can you. So we saw her. Well, look you. Two. Has four. Been in the last few months. Victor Axelson, Kenta Momota, Anders Antonsen, Lee Teacher, Kidambi Srikanth, Lakshya Sen, the list goes on and on of the scalps that he has taken. Such is the form of this man at the moment. Seems absolutely unstoppable in that kill. So it's over. Just uh, Five, exemplifies two. where he is at the moment in his career. But as I said, he said he's very busy at the moment. He didn't have much of a break when he went back to Singapore. Got a, a water salute at the airport and it never really looked back after that. He was very much in demand with the media. That looked tight. And we have Locking our first challenge of challenge this match. Look at you is asking whether that actually was out. Was very tight indeed. Let's see if he may have a point here. And he is correct. Correction out. Good call there from Kian Yu. Six, two. Pulls himself the underdog. Play. And this is the first time he says he's been playing as a contender. So the pressure and expectations is something he says he needs to learn to handle. But I tell you what, he's handling it pretty well at the moment. Seven, two. With sumptuous shots like that one. Eight, two. And now that gap increases to six points. 
went back to Dubai in the new year, by the way, so that's why he's been so busy. Just hasn't had much time to himself. That is more like it from Sirant. It's over. Three, eight. Three, Target, start talking about targeting perhaps an Olympic medal. And you can't blame him for thinking that, given that he is a world champion now. We are only a couple away from the Olympics, of course, having happened only a few months ago, delayed after the initial 2020 date. Opponent in and then dispatching Nine, the shuttle. Four. Brings it in there and then whips it back. No chance for Surant. turn there from the Russian over. that looked to be the Five. longest rally we've Nine. had so far and he just uh, again yeah. probably could have done a little better with that one there you go 27 shots <laughs> yeah, he was a lot annoyed with himself he went immediately looked at his coach Kelvin Ho and then that little bemused look of his. It was around this point that look at you Play. started to race away from his opponent in the last game. Casual. Nine. Only three points in it between these two. That is better, much better from Sirat. And again, putting pressure on his opponent here. With a couple of points of him. Be a disappointed with those sort of unforced Ten. errors he run at this stage, Seven. especially was he was catching up with uh, low. Around the head there, something he should have probably made over the net. The lift was key, wasn't it, there seven, from seven, Look and you, and he goes seven. in interval. 11 7 up. Court one, 
20 seconds. Coach one, 20 seconds. Coach, back to you. So, Lokan Yu, 11-7 up here in the second game, having taken the first game, 21-16 against Sergei Sirant of Russia, quarterfinals of the Yonex Sunrise in Black. the Open. <laughs> and that lead has increased to five. Seven. These are the sort of errors that Sirant would want to cut out of his play at the moment. Hard enough playing the world champion. And him opportunities on the plate to get points. And that's well judged as well 13, from the Singaporean. Seven. Remember, he had an eight point lead around the stage in the last game. Points. 14, seven. And we're fast approaching that sort of area again. Seven clear of the Russian, Lokian Yu. He's got that eight-point lead 15, now. Seven. So it was around this stage where we saw Surran just turn it on all of a sudden, and look, and he appeared to have just lost his focus a little bit. Is let's come back so on again for Surran. Fifteen. Just have to. He'll have to uh, just recall what he did in that last. Okay, dig deep here. Oh, he doesn't get the smash over. Service over. 16, 8. So we saw her. Nine, sixteen. Little mistakes like that from Loki and you. Just give Sirant some hope that he can try and force some kind of comeback here. But it's those sort of shots so that will leave him annoyed with himself 17. and you can just see Nine. His reaction to that hasn't helped himself at times. Oh. You could see the idea from Sirant, the execution 18. didn't Nine. work out for him. Well, look at you, it's just three points away from wrapping up this match, unless something quite special here happens for Sirat. He has Nineteen. to cut out all Nine. those unforced errors. A lot of them at the moment. Looking a little forlorn now. Good net play there from Sirant. So we saw her. 19. Could really do with that six point run right now, couldn't he? Eleven. Well, there's one 19. down. He's still got a long, long way to go. And he kills that off very easily. Quick so point there for Loki and you. And he's got a whole match bunch point. of 11. match points to play with now. Well, that was pretty wayward, wasn't it? 
service over. Was Twelve, that merely 20. delayed the inevitable. Well, he's in two minds, and that might 13, well have 20. gone out of play. Look, and you didn't want to take the chance yeah. and hit it very, very late. He's usually pretty good at that, I have to say. I don't think he'll be too worried at this point. Still got seven match points. And that is it. A great way to finish things off. The net kill on the backhand. And the world champion, Lokian Yu, eases into the semi finals of the Yonex Sunrise India Open. And a couple of blips along the way. I don't think he'll be too phased by that. He's got bigger things to worry about later on in the competition. Well, Lil Kian Yu beats Sergei Sirant 21-16, 21-13. He wins this match in just 32 minutes and is on his way now to the semi-finals.